Hello guys and welcome back into a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to port forward a Minecraft server. So make sure you watch the video to the end and follow these simple steps. So first, I'm just going to see where we are going just to check this Hostinger article that is showing exactly how you can start forwarding a Minecraft server on Windows. So basically, uh, you will need to have first or to set up a Minecraft server or a private Minecraft server that will run locally on your computer. And basically, uh, you will be able to do by following the steps from here. And you can have many other hosts like uh, other services uh, except uh, Hostinger or Excluded. And then you will need just to follow these simple steps so you can uh, forward the Minecraft server. First, you will need just to set the port on Minecraft configuration. And basically, you will need just to go to uh, the Minecraft server directory and go to the server properties file. And you can then open it with a note block by clicking on the app. And for example, uh, go to any app and then you will have the open with. So for example, here we can just go right click and here open with and you can uh, choose another app and you will have for example the note block or notepad and you will be able to open the server properties you will find the server port of course you can change whenever you want the server port by changing the value and quitting and saving the file but by default you will always find this server port for the java edition and those are ports for the bedrock edition after that, we will need to allow the ports on the firewall. So basically, we will just type firewall, and here we will find the Windows firewall. Then we need to add some rules to our firewalls. So basically, here you will find uh, the inbound rules as it is showed. So here, the inbound rules, and then we need just to create a new rule. You add a port, you go next, choose TCP, and add the port of your Minecraft server and click on next as shown here. So after that, you will need just to name it whatever you like and then click finish. Then you will need just to root or forward the port on the router. So with the firewall setup, incoming network requests are allowed now. Now you will need just to find your default gateway IP address and it will be used to log in to the router. So now we need just to find the router address and setting up a static IP on the Windows. So basically you would need just to go to the CMD and the command prompt, click on it, and you will need just to type this command and it will give you this default gateway. By having this default gateway, you will need just to go to your networking uh, settings by right click on, on troubleshoot or open network and internet settings and then you go to properties and basically we go down to search for the the adapter option or the sharing center here and basically we go to your wi-fi or any connection and then go to the properties here and basically we need just to go to the ipv4 properties and then you add the following ip address or your default gateway you add the default gateway that you have and by that you will be able to forward your minecraft server so basically you will need uh, at the end to restart the minecraft server and you will be able to connect so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time